Okay, straight enough, maybe. Hi guys, I'm tired. This is one of those weeks, finished exams, where it's like five million things are happening and you just can't get a break. But I have a ton of empties and during when I break, one of my goals is to start recycling things. So I really want to film this video before I go on vacation and just get it. Okay, so let's do this super quick. First, I have marshmallow pumpkin latte, deep handing, deep handing, deep cleansing hand soap. This is why it takes me so long to edit these videos because I just go too fast and I talk too fast. Um, yeah, love this. This is cool. This is great. I'm not gonna smell because we've learned from previous videos that when you open it after the soap is done, then it starts smelling bad because water, mold, yum, gross, ew. She said with sarcasm. It smells like pumpkin. Nothing like coffee. It smells like goods fall good stuff alongside with the classics i finished another one of these maui moisture heal and hydrate shea butter hair masks i've gone back to the l'oreal one that i use more recently just to switch it up uh but this is the holy grail still really like this guy maui moisture i tried the conditioner version of that thing i think this is way over too over oh, it's i think blah, 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 blah. I think this is way too overpriced for what it is. I just prefer the Dove one because I feel like I feel like conditioner does the same thing. Like it's really the leave-in conditioner you use. Like conditioner is just there to tangle your hair. That's that. Well, on this topic of conditioner, whoa, this feels like it has something in it. But too bad it's getting recycled because I threw it into this recycling pile. I finished two massive giant containers of the Dove Intensive Repair. I've talked about this five million times. This is affordable. This does the trick. This is what I have used for like the past eight years getting old yeah for recommend these okay Ooh, that was a good thumbnail man um this bag is not going to be big enough for all of these items. wow look at this this is definitely from the summer this is definitely yeah i finished a shaving cream pure silk spa therapy shave cream coconut and oat flour don't know what it does i usually don't actually use shaving cream because i feel like it's something extra that you buy that you don't really need tip i learned this from ingrid nielsen you can use conditioner i think it was ingrid you can use conditioner as shaving cream and if your conditioner is cheap like the one that i use you can do that yeah when i do buy shaving cream this is what i buy i don't buy eos or any of those really expensive ones because like i said more money going towards shaving cream a non-compulsory item of the beauty industry uh yeah Moving on. More Holy Grail things. Lots of lip balms. Carmex. My friends make fun of me because I'm always using lip balm. It's actually the thing that I won't leave the house without. And I've used Carmex since I was like... Oh my god. 13 years old, at least. Yeah. The past 8 years. So, finished two more of these. Probably gonna finish more of them. Is Carmex the best lip balm? Probably not. Uh, I think it dries out your lips because of the camphor in them. So, as of recently, I haven't been using Carmex as much but it's what I still use. When I'm not using, uh, when I'm not using things that are Carmex, the things that I really like, this took me five years to finish because I used it very sporadically because it's so good and so expensive. This is the Nivea Lip Butter and Vanilla Macadamia Kiss. In 2014, when I was a sophomore in high school, these were all of the rage on like the, on the YouTube beauty industry. So I bought one when I was 15 and I finished it, I guess a few months ago. Um, this is excellent. It is really good. It's really expensive, and I don't think they're selling it anymore, which makes me sad. But if you find this, give it a go. Any of the flavors, give it a go, because this is one of the best lip balms I've ever found. And it's drugstore. It's cheap. It's affordable. Also, for the car, I like to have Vaseline Lip Therapies. I finished this cocoa butter one after a long time. Again, I like these. They don't have the cam for, so they're not, like, antithetically drying out your lips in the process of trying to moisturize your lips. Also cheap. Also drugstore. Also does the trick. Really good. I finished a travel size toothpaste because you all know how much I like to travel of uh, kids. Sparkle Fun toothpaste because even though I'm 21, mint is the devil. Yeah. Bless my dentist for always giving these for me for free because I do travel quite a lot. And I'm going somewhere again tomorrow and I'm tired, man. I've talked about this, but, I've talked about this before. The Simple Foaming Face Wash. This is one of my holy grails. I've been using it a lot more recently because I'm trying to wean myself off of acne products because I'm 21 and a half already. Asian. Ah, no, it's okay. I hate being 21. Are you 35? Let's trade. But yeah, holy grail. Love this guy. Hope it exists in Paris because I'm going to be needing a lot of it. I have a bottle of that same Dove Intensive Repair Conditioner from when I was like, this is from 2012, this bottle. I've just never used it. And I found it in my um, cabin. I was like, whoa, I'm going to start using this because I need to start going through everything that I own before I leave the continent. The formula was even better eight years ago. Not sure what they did to it. 
it's not as good now. It's definitely cheaper now. So I just want to share that this has been a holy grail for a long time. And then I had an original classic bottle of it. <laughs> I wonder why they changed the bottles. Have you ever wondered these things? Like, why did bottles get changed? I have three. Okay, I have four different face items to share with you. One of them is like suddenly actually i shouldn't throw away this tiny thing i should actually keep it for traveling because this thing is actually heaven this was in the sephora beauty gift box in summer of 2017 i just never tried this thing this is the claudio this is this is parisian so i know i can get in paris vino perfect serum eclat radiant serum to all skin all skin types excuse my french if it's really bad um i don't know what the hell this thing does but it makes your skin look like gloss I can't speak for what it does on acne yet. I don't really know. I don't really, I can't speak for dark spots. I don't think it's done. If It's probably done something I just haven't noticed it yet. But it just makes you look radiant is what it does. And I'm not going to throw away this little bottle. I just realized that. But I want to share with you that I actually caved in and bought the $80 bottle because it will last forever. And it makes you just look like smooth, like perf imperfection, like <sighs> Yeah, this is a few years old and I'm throwing away because I don't use it and it burned whenever I put it on my face and I have since found other things that I like. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Face Oil-Free Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Like I said, whenever I use this thing, it burned my face. The active ingredient is not zinc and I guess you could, my skin's not super sensitive but it's relatively sensitive so I think that's why I just didn't like it. And it's definitely several years old so but even when I used it, it was not really one of my favorites, so I wouldn't really recommend this. But if you don't have super sensitive skin, it might do the trick for you. And if you like Hawaiian Tropic products, I like all the other Hawaiian Tropic products. I mean, who doesn't want to smell like coconut sunscreen beach goddessness when they're putting on their sunscreen? And it's just so smooth, but just the face stuff didn't really work out for me. Another thing that took me way too long to go through, when I say way too long, I mean several years. This is the Lush Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water. And these things are not cost effective man and i just don't feel like they do anything for toner or like before i'm going to the gym and i'm not going to take a shower wash my face whatever i just use straight up witch hazel and witch hazel is a third of the price of this guy you know it feels like salt water it feels luxurious it feels great i just don't think this or the tea tree water really do anything just gonna say that another holy grail i'm pretty sure i've talked about this this is all crinkled up now this is the origins Retextures a mask uh, with rose clay. Love this thing. It is a gentle exfoliation. It's calming because it's rose. I like that it's pink. It's a fun color to put on your face. It lasts a really long time. I think I buy like one bottle, maybe two bottles at the most a year, like several months to a year. Love the thing. We'll keep buying it over and over and over and over and over again. And we are almost done. I have another soap here. This one I just finished. This is afternoon apple picking. Smells like the name, smells like apples. If you want something to smell like apples, clean on your hands during fall time. Buy this guy. It was good. Uh, I wish Bath & Body Works were cheaper because I really like them, but they're not. And that's the way it goes. And I've talked about this maybe 5 billion, billion point two nine three six nine five nine two nine two point nine six times. This is the Flamingo Multivitamin Adult Gummies. I will use these over and over and over again. They're the best tasting. They hit most of your levels they don't have vitamin d they don't have a sufficient amount of b12 but other than that you're good to go if you're vegan or vegetarian missing something this is my beating heart this has probably helped me keep up kept me alive the past three years that i've been plant-based that is crazy how much time has gone by but also blessed because your late teens early 20s there's some really hard times i'm just putting that out there but yeah guys that is my December 2019 empties video. I am so glad that this year's ending because this has been one of the worst years ever. <laughs> I feel like it's been a really hard year for a lot of people, but 2020, 2020, I feel like I need to start calling it 2020 with the new year because it really is going to take the time to say 2020. So I don't know, but 2020, 2020, whatever the heck you want to call it is coming. It's going to be great. Life is about to get great. Exciting things are happening for me in my life and I can't wait to start posting about it on my YouTube channel and it's going to be great. So if you like me and my weirdness, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and I will be posting lots of videos in the coming new year. So have a happy holidays, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate and I'll see you later.